Hey, it's Patty. So, so welcome to my video here today. I'm going to be showing you uh, some little tips and tricks on setting up your automation with your drip campaign when a new lead comes into the system right here in LionDesk. So uh, for those of you who don't know me, I do a bunch of videos on CRM and drip campaigns. So make sure that you subscribe right here in YouTube as uh, fast as you can so you don't miss any of my new training I got coming out. So uh, thanks again for stopping by. All right, so the first thing we're, so, so actually the reason this video is happening is because I've seen a lot of people within the line desk for and ask about how to connect your uh, drip campaigns automation to your leads when they come into the system. And there are several ways to do this that you need to be aware uh, and it's just based on the kind of lead that you have coming in. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to, uh, actually let's go over to the settings. Let's go to the settings first and talk a little bit about the things you have to think about. Okay, so the first thing is um, when a lead is coming in, where is it coming from? If it's, if it's a digital one, like you're getting off your website or Zillow or your Facebook ads, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, if you're manually adding leads, you're going to need to manually turn on the campaign. That's all there is to it. Okay, so when I figure out whether or not the system is going to be able to handle this incoming lead, I have to check in two different places. The first place I'm going to check is at third party integrations on the settings tab. So I'm going to go to settings and third party integrations. Now when I'm here, I'm going to look through this list, which is the API connected lead sources. And these sources are connected by previously set up through LionDesk and these particular lead sources over here. And if they already worked something out to get these electronically connected, then that's what's happened. That's kind of my dummy down, non-technical version for this. <laughs> um, so basically then what we're doing is telling the lead source that uh, we have an API key that we need you to know about that is connected to our account here in LionDesk. So what I would suggest you do first is go here to third party integrations and see if your lead source is on this list because these were pre-set up by LionDesk and these providers. And then if it is, let's just say it's listing booster, you want to go to enable and you're going to grab the API key, which is what this is. This is the code that you need to send over to your lead source and let them know that this is your LionDesk account so that when it comes in, it knows where to go, okay? Um, and so usually what you'll do is go into your settings on your lead source and go back there where it has CRM connections um, and there should be an integration tab and when you get in there, it'll ask for the API key, okay? Um, you use this as well if you're doing a Zapier integration and so you make sure that you grab the Zapier and Zapier is a third party software that you would use to connect two different pieces of software, right? So this, it's the middleman that actually pulls the information out of um, your lead source and then pulls out all the fields and dumps it into LionDesk. Now I've done another video on that. And so you'll wanna go to my YouTube channel and look that up um, so that you can see exactly how to do that. But it is, uh, is there, uh, so you'll make sure and check that out, okay? The other thing, if we go over to Facebook, um, you should, if you're doing Facebook ads, lead gen ads, uh, that's a lead generation form that you create right inside of Facebook, then you're going to want to make sure you got your connection set up. And again, I've done another video on this whole process, so I'm not going to go into that on this one. But um, you definitely want to get that connected between LionDesk and your Facebook account. And then when the leads start to come in through your lead forms, they will dump in here, okay? So the, the next thing is, is if your lead source is not on third party integrations and it's not a Facebook ad, you're going to be looking at the third or the lead distribution and team setting tab, right? And then you're going to go down and you're going to look at this drop down. In this drop down, there's going to be a number of lead sources that um, is uh, available so that when you go to your lead source, instead of the API key, you're actually going to be providing them the email address right up here that is assigned to your particular LionDesk account, okay? So this is my uh, email address and you'll have your own. And so for most of these other lead sources here, you can go into your account, say you had gotten a conversion account and you tell conversion when you get a lead, you want a copy of it emailed over here and you're going to send it to that email address that you have here, okay? 
Um, if you're doing Zillow, uh, you're going to want to make sure and read these instructions, but it just takes you into your Zillow hub. If you're a Zillow premier agent and you're paying for leads, or even if you're not, you're still going to want to set this up because if you have a listing, it may show up in Zillow and you want that information to get dumped in here, right? So you want to make sure you've given Zillow this email address and that's where you're sending the leads to, okay? Uh, same thing, I think, pretty much for Realtor.com. I don't think Realtor.com was an API key. Let me just be sure. I don't think it was. Uh, these aren't in alphabetical order over here, by the way. I don't know why. They are on this one, but not on, not on the other one. Um, so anyway, that's what you do, okay? Um, all right, now, you're going to make sure that you've connected the two systems. That's the first step. Now, second step and most important step now <laughs> is to make sure you've told the system that there is a lead source that is connected with that lead, okay? Because the only way that Line Desk can turn on the campaign automatically is based on the lead source. So that means you have to go into your Line Desk settings right here, and you need to add a lead source specific to your lead. Now, if you're getting bold leads, if you're getting Facebook ads, now I'll talk about Facebook ad uh, in a minute, Zillow, Realtor.com, some of these are already in here, but you're not going to want to leave Facebook, okay? Because Facebook, you're probably going to run more than one ad. Our goal is to turn on correct campaigns. So if you're doing a buyer ad and a seller ad and your only uh, source in here says Facebook, then every time the lead comes in, it's going to turn on the same one campaign. And that's not good, right? We want to make sure we have campaigns specific to every single one of our lead sources. So if it's a Zillow, you want to make sure you're sending out campaigns that have information related to the zip codes that you're buying, right? Um, or if it's a Facebook ad and you're offering lists of homes or a guide or whatever it is, down payment assistance programs, make sure your campaign is specific to that, right? So um, I do whole courses and training on this. I also provide the campaigns. What I suggest you do is you take a good buyer or seller campaign, depending on your ad, you clone that ad, or I'm sorry, you clone the campaign here in Line Desk, and then you create a whole separate campaign for it. And then you're going to make sure you have a separate source for it because this is how you're telling the system which campaign to turn on. So you're going to have a source, let's just say for Zillow. Zillow is a default that's already in here, so it's Zillow. But for Facebook, I would be doing a separate Facebook ad, and I would uh, source. So I usually will go FB and put it all kind of bunch them here if I can. I did do a few up here that were a little bit different. But um, FB, North Valley, under 400. I live in the Phoenix Scottsdale area in Arizona, so um, this ad was for North Valley Homes under 400,000, right? So Facebook, North Valley, that is a separate source, all right? So you have to add your source, okay? So this is the second step. Make sure you do that. Okay, now final step is you've added your source. Now we're going to tell a system when the lead comes in, what source. Now in your CRM, I'm sorry, in your lead source, you may be able to tell it, and most of the time it is, you can tell it which source you've added. Okay, so when you're doing the connection, it, sh it may or may not you have that opportunity to add it. If it can, like say you have a real geek site and you built a landing page for it, you're going to tell the system this landing page is associated with that particular source, okay, when it comes in. So when you're able to build these separate landing pages in our, other, in our systems, make sure that you have separate sources for each of those landing pages in those lead generation systems, okay? Um, all right, so you're getting the idea what I'm talking about, all right? So now what you're doing, the last step is we need to now tell the system that we are setting this up. So we're going to go in. Let's just say this is Zillow lead. This is the last step. You're going to lead distribution and team settings on the settings tab, and you're going to head down to Zillow. Let's say it's a Zillow lead, and we're going to click on Zillow. Um, this one is alphabetical, okay? And then I'm going to add a new lead routing, and then I'm going to select the source that I had to add in. I also had to add the source in, right? Make sure you add it. In this case, Zillow is already in it, but Make sure you add your source. Then you're going to have a whole separate campaign for that Zillow campaign. So if you are marketing in 85262, then make sure you have a campaign set up to send listings similar to that. Okay, and not just once, but twice. I go into great detail about this in all my training. But, okay, so make sure you do that. 
And then um, you're going to pick out the campaign you want to use. I'll just pick out anything here for now. And then um, in Zillow's case, you actually have an option to add whether it's a buyer or a seller, which is great. And then um, distribution setting, uh, if, you don't, if it's just you, just go individual. If you have team, that's a whole nother video for a different day, okay? Team rollout and team distribution. But right now we're gonna do individual. And then you just save that lead routing, okay? Or you have it, so I'm not gonna do it again. But at the bottom now, it's gonna look like this. Um, and you're gonna have it set up, Zillow Buyer, right? And you've got Zillow Buyer, which is the one that's coming in from the line desk. This is Zillow from the sources that I added. And then of course, the campaign that I turned on. Now. Next thing you want to do is run a test. Make sure that it's working, okay? Make sure that it's working, okay? And then you'll know it's working. And how you do that is when the lead comes into the system, you're going to go and click on um, the lead and make sure that the lead, you can see that there is a campaign turned on. I'll go ahead and just look at one of my leads here so you can see um, I'm running ads with my YLOPO account. So let's see if my YLOPO leads are getting assigned to the correct campaigns, right? So let me just pull up the most recent ones. Oh, we got, we got a couple that's come in today, so I got to get on them. But um, so let's, I'm just clicking. I'm going to click on this one. It was the last one that came in. Um, I have a YLOPO campaign set up for it. It should be turned on. And there it is. If I scroll down to the bottom, I can see that it's turned on, okay? Um, and so that's a good thing. If, uh, and then otherwise, um, I'm just uh, gonna be working these leads like I do all the time, right? And you're just gonna make those calls and do what you need to do. But I hope that helps, that automated everything. This lead came in because I had preset this up to go and it's going correctly. It has the correct source um, set up for the YLOPO lead right there. And it knows that every time a lead comes in from YLOPO, it's turning on my YLOPO campaign, all right? All right, my friends, I hope this helped you. Um, again, for those of you who don't know, I do uh, provide um, free training and I also have paid training and um, courses for Lion Desk. So definitely check it out if you want to join my free groups. I have a group in Lion Desk uh, uh, on the lot. It's called Lion Desk Workshops and Campaigns for real estate pros. You just need to be a real estate pro and you can get in. So just invite yourself in. Um, or you can also, and or go to my other one at Drip Campaign Mastery for real estate pros, okay? If you are a KV Core agent at, e or if you're KV Core at EXP Realty where I'm at, there's also, I also have a KV Core Drip Campaign Mastery group. So go into Workplace, it's at Workplace, okay? So um, anyway, this one's Drip Campaign Mastery for real estate pros. So make sure you join my groups and don't forget to subscribe to subscribe here to uh, my YouTube channel and I'll have more training for you in the future. Thank you so much. Good luck. I look forward to helping you out. Bye.